Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. That is Deb Chanel's 48th World. Well, we got some breaking news, things that are trending in the reality celebrity type of world on social media, pinging off everything from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But we're gonna talk about Nene Lee. She's on Instagram showing her behind. And again, Atlanta Black Star with that wonderful commentary and their journalist who's breaking down the articles, how we can understand them and me to digest it and regurgitate it back out and give it to you all on my platform. Okay, we're going to go on right on into it. We're not going to tear it. Oh, Miss Kirsten Willis from Atlanta Black Star wrote up the article. Her article title goes, It's you, boo. Fans, that's right, not YouTube content creators, not other celebrities talking, but fans, followers, subscribers to Nene Leaks are clapping back on that buttocks, okay? Yes, the buttocks is getting beat up, okay? Big time because of her so nasty, so rude comments she makes, okay? I'm trying to figure out myself, is Nene nasty and rude? Okay, boss itch, or is she a whiner, fakery, bougie person? Okay, fake itch. Okay, don't know. They ain't something one. They don't know really either. That's why they coming, not to her defense, but to <laughs> be her opposition. They trying to say chill, honey, chill, Nene. Okay, inquiring minds want to know. But getting back to the article, it says it's you, boo. Give Nene Leaks the business. Fans are giving her the business. And I ain't talking about positive. I'm talking about negative. After she seems to point the finger at frenemies for severing ser relationships. Okay. He goes on to say, after a trip to Toronto, Canada, for a Caribbean, for a Carabana last week, Nene Leaks is in a reflective mood. Okay. Yeah, she's looking back over her life, honey. <laughs> I'm like, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my prescriptions. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room yes lord that's what the fans are trying to tell nene to go up in her room and pray honey pray for herself because she definitely has gone crazy -co 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 -crazy. okay but get back to the article they said nene is in a reflective mood okay the star made um a complete really you know I ain't going to say ass out of herself, but she just been going back and forth with social media. This is my side boy, y'all. So, you know, Nene just be tripping, tripping, tripping. And, you know, the fans don't really start calling her out. I don't start calling her out myself. Because I'm like, either you're going to play this nasty and rude person and go on and get your going, or you just need to fall all the way back. Pick your, pick your battlefield, okay? You can't be battling out here every day. Which, in a sense, I guess she could because she's doing it pretty much to stay relevant out here in social media. She says she don't like us talking about her, meaning YouTube content creators. But yet, she's always giving us something to talk about. I don't know. Go figure, right? But getting back to the article, uh, it says the star made the venture for the annual Caribbean theme fest festival, excuse me, festival with her, the Real Housewives of Atlanta co-stars. Or as she now referring to, referring to them, co-workers, okay? She don't think they stars. She's want to put them as workers, worker bees, okay? It was the first time in months that Leaks has been captured on camera with all of her friends turned enemies. We had Cynthia Bailey. We got Portia Williams, Candy Burris, Eva Marcel, and Tanya Sams. That's my pun intended. I don't know why Tanya there. But maybe she'll creep and give us something sooner rather than later for as entertainment. But, you know, hey, she's a nurse. She's doing the darn thing. And she's supposed to be engaged, I'm guessing, to be married. So that may be her claim to fame while she's still here. Because we already got a neutral person. That's Cynthia. You know, she wants to be neutral with everybody. Okay, the peacemaker. We already got one of them. We don't need no sign-ups to uh, 
unless we replace him, Cynthia. And pretty much, I rather have Cynthia than Tanya, because Tanya really don't give me anything. All right, but anyway, moving on, back to the uh, commentary. It says, Leaks also hit the event with a friend and longtime friend of the show, Marlo Hampton. Yovana uh, M., because I'm not, her last name too hard to pronounce, um, also a friend of the show, and Leaks' enemy and returning peach holder, Kenya Moore. Okay, on a flight back to Atlanta for Toronto, Canada, Sunday, Leaks appeared to be looking back on her frayed friendships which fell apart after a tense reunion in season 11. To me, it wasn't tense. Me just clocking her own tea and her own way of doing things. And that's what they pay her for. So she has to be nice, nasty, rude, come back with some sly comments, be lukewarm here and there. It just is what it is. That's Nene Leaks, okay? Um, then it goes to say Leaks unfollowed all castmates, excluding Hampton as a result, okay? Then it goes on to show Nene giving us a little photo shop. Well, not Photoshop, but a little photo on Instagram where she's sitting back reflecting. And I'm like, who taking a picture? It's just a setup because I'm like, okay, you're going to be like, you know, first class or something. Uh, are you laundering at somebody's house? I don't know because I don't see the cabin window in the plane. But, you know, you're looking too relaxed, too, and you ain't got no seatbelt on and nothing like that. So I'm kind of confused, Nene, of this photo that you don't put up on Instagram. And it seems like she, I don't know, she looked like a Muppet now because it seems like her uh, cheeks are swelling in and the upper part of her cheeks are too flared out. I don't know what's going on with Nene, but it's not a flattering picture. I would have changed this picture as soon as I put it up. I would have took it down and replaced it with something else, but that is what it is. She's going to do what she got to do, but if you catch her on Instagram, she's saying she's sitting on a flight this morning reflecting and thinking about how she had to make amends with people who actually wronged her and the way that has made me her feel, she said on August 4th. Okay, but not really reading it because it's been out there. It's been circulating, recycled garbage news, okay? But she's going in wishing everybody a happy Sunday. And she just also saying it's just crazy to me how society judges from the outside in instead of the inside out. Wait, that the pot calling the kettle black, Nene. Ain't that what you do on a regular basis? Come on, girl. You can't even talk to people in the airport. They come up to you. They starstruck and they want to get an autograph or take a picture or even have a conversation. And you shut them down. You call it like your peasants or something. Now, if it was Jack Nicholson running around there or Denzel Washington and they spoke to you or you'll be full attention phone is on vibrate and you be trying to see if you can connect with them at a later date child please Nene, come on who didn't the uh fans when you first started out in your career excuse me uh supported you and made you who you are today well them same supporters fans and followers they can uh disassemble you and break you okay and not follow you and then who would you be relevant to Okay, so remember, your subscribers, your followers, your content, cr YouTube creators, and journalists um, doing articles on you. Uh, I'm not saying it's uh, true or false what they put out there, or just recycled garbage, you know what I'm saying, that we're having on our platforms that we're recycling for you to keep you relevant. If it wasn't for us, then you would not be known, and you would just be an afterthought. With no money, okay, and going back to have to get a nine to five job like the majority of us host and fell down, hold down to this day, okay. But moving on, we go back to the article. She's talking about she's glad she got the sermon from the Lord, and you know, she's just going in pretty much. Um, then it goes on to say, you know, her frenemies who she's gotten into it recently. We know it was with Cynthia Bailey. And she goes on to talk about Kenya Moore coming back and the drama with all of that and Portia Williams. Okay, you know, they little fallout, they little tilt tap here and there. All right. And she's just like, oh, woe is me, woe is me. That's pretty much how the article has been reading thus far. And, and on other um magazines I caught that got the same story recycling it. Same old thing. Woe is me. Woe is me. Why am I the only one who's supposed to uh, wear the bigger pants or be the bigger person and have to apologize when I didn't do anything? And I'm like, Lord, I hit dog with your holler. Nene, you don't do more than enough for people to come back at you. Okay? But, you know, she's asking everybody else for her constituents, her co-workers to look at themselves and make that change. Like Michael Jackson said, 
man in the mirror, but she's saying the woman in the mirror need to make a change, but she feel like she's fine. She talking about her constituents, her co-workers, they need to look in the mirror and make several big changes, okay? But um, it just goes on and on, but just getting to uh, some of the things like her fans were like chiming in on after she posted what she posted, they were getting on her pretty hard. Whoop, they were going in on her, y'all. Let me just read some of it. Uh, it said, um, one post person said, yet fans were not all siding with Leak's message. Several commented that the OG housewives could take ownership of the role she played in her strange relationships. That's why they try to make a, uh, Nene accountable for the things she said and did on the show. Like, hey, honey, your hands ain't clean. You just throw them rocks and try to hide your hands, okay? But mm -mm, those people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, nay, 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 okay? But anyway, uh, one person said, Nene, I love you, but sometimes it's you, boo. It's you. Okay, they say call a spade a spade. That's what one of these fans are calling Nene. She's telling it's you, boo. You need to look in the mirror. Stop blaming other people. Look at what you do and then do better. Okay, and I agree wholeheartedly with this one. The next one, uh, commenter goes in to say, but you have wronged a lot of people too, Mrs. Leaks. Take responsibility and move on like the adults y'all are. Okay. Now, I'm like, I agree with her, too, but we talking about people that are acting like clowns on this show. They giving us whatever to get that check. So, we don't really know if they really get down like this in real life or are they actually just mindless individuals and basically act this way on a daily basis. So, hmm, I might do a whole judgment on that one. Moving on to the next commenter. They say, Nene, sometimes we have to look within and find out where we went wrong also and address it blessings still a fan okay nice nasty that one was like hey i gotta check you because you ain't clean either ain't hey, hey the buttermilk not clean that you drink it either nene uh, take the thorn out your own i take the plank out your eye like the bible said before you can look and, and try to tell somebody else how to live and be in their life. Okay, that's right. Sweep around, clean up your own house before you go and try to tell somebody else what to do with theirs. I know it, honey. They preaching over him. They preaching and I'm preaching too, okay? Woo, child. But the last comment I said, well, no, we still rolling with some negative comments, but they getting her together. Yes, they are. Uh, one person said, what about all the people you have wrong? Accept responsibility, apologize, and move on unless you're playing the victim now. Now, see, that's what I'm saying when I first started this video. Okay, are we going to be nice, nasty, rude, and be, be the boss? itch in charge like you claim you are or you're just gonna be a whiner and want you know people to feel sorry for you i'm like whiner bougie they don't go together honey mm -mm, you gotta stand in your own feces and make things happen girl better or for worse better or for worse and that was my commentary that wasn't in this okay i don't know i get down like that okay and then another commenter said uh stop blaming people and grow the f up you're not a good friend as well i like okay then Okay, all right, all right. Now, that got real salty, didn't it, y'all? Then the article concludes and says something more recently. However, it seems Leaks has turned up a new leaf with Bailey, whom she criticized at the reunion over her online PDA with now fiancé Mike Lee. I mean, Mike Hill. Leaks informed her Instagram followers last week that she sent Bailey a gift and a card, which Bailey responded to with thanks. Now, instead of had any more sense about herself and business about herself, she would have said, return to Sunday. No, 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 no. Undress unknown. Mm, 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 mm. Return to Sunday. Uh, 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 uh. Undress unknown. Yes, Lord, I will return that gift back unopened. And the seal ain't broken on nothing. Say, forget you, wench. Okay? Forget you, wench. But anyway, we know Cynthia opened it, was all happy, probably shedding tears and want to get the friendship contract rewritten back up for her to sign it and for Nene to sign it. <laughs> that dog on Cynthia Bailey, I tell you. Oh, she gets me to chuckle sometimes with her behavior, Lord. But we concluded with saying, in addition to Bailey, Lisa has also apparently made amends with Sam and Burris. 
Uh, man, she talking about Tanya's thing? I was like, Tanya, hey, Tanya's family didn't do too much. So, okay, she was out of the house with everybody. I forgot. I forgot. Forgive me. But, okay, yeah, she says to be on a mending fence. She's gone. She's ha having gone to lunch with each of them in July. Okay, so maybe they went and had a little, I don't know, filming time. Because, you know, everybody got to get paid. That's the majority of the reason why they're there. They want to get their check. They want to get paid for each episode that they tape. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Because that's what they contract warrant. And so if they have to play nice nasty, if they have to be cordial to one another, they all going to get that check because they need it. Okay, they might be household names in the reality field, drama, celebrity ship, land, but I don't see nobody. Candy talk on mess too, but she can walk away and fade your problem. Yeah, but she'll be trying to do some litigation behind closed doors. And then later on, we'll see it in the media and then hitting every social media platform. And everybody going to be talking about it because she's going to be trying to take litigation uh, issues or steps towards Bravo franchise, true entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Because they, she felt Phaedra had defamation of character on her and all this other stuff she'll probably pull up legally. Then her daughter tried to go to school to be a little lawyer, okay? I don't know what she's doing an internship for in a junior year of high school, but that's what she's doing. She's getting that foreknowledge. And if you got contacts, I guess you can get the feel of uh, having a paid internship. But maybe it's not paid. She ain't heard for money. So she can sit right up there for two or three years in New York and be interning. But, you know, hey, Riley's a small individual. If she go into becoming a lawyer, attorney at law, then, hey, she could probably save her mama from a lot of pitfalls and know how to pay no lawyer fees, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, Riley has to be a little bit more outspoken and outgoing to hold down being a lawyer. But I'm, I have faith in her. I'm pretty sure she's going to turn out and land on her feet in whatever endeavor or career she goes into. Okay. But that's all I had for this. I don't know what kind of story I put out on Miss Nene Leaks. Okay. I just call it, it was a, some fans getting on their, uh, advers not adversary, but their, um, uh, person they idolize, okay? And you know we're supposed to be idolizing anybody that's biblical, that's scripture, but you know, whatever. They like Nene. Um I'm I have gotten really indifferent in indifferent with the situation of whether I like her or whether I love her or whether I'm just neutral. Right now, I'm just in neutral. I'm in neutral. I can't even move forward. I can't move backwards. Because Nene, like I said, she's playing her part, but I don't like the part where she's striding on the fence trying to be a boss itch and trying to do what she needs to do to secure the bag from here to eternity. And then she getting this whining thing. I'm like, you can't pay up, be a boss person, a boss itch, and then going to be whining on the sideline. But like, um, be one or the other. Don't, don't be lukewarm, as the Bible says. Be one or the other. Stand for something or fall for anything. That's what I'm saying, y'all. But that's all I had for this video. I uh, won't be back tonight for another one. But y'all enjoy this one. I'll get back with y'all tomorrow, God willing. And we'll do this thing again. Peace out.